stability of an airplane. What is stability? Stability is this chair. If I rock it this way, the center of gravity, which is the center of balance, is at the middle of the seat. It's stable. It's stable. If I set the chair up on end, like this, it's unstable because it may or may not go this way or that way. In airplane, we have a similar situation, and the Wright brothers kind of figured this out, how something can be self-stabilizing. Here we have a representative airplane, and you'll notice two things about it. It has to have two sets of wings to be stable. Here I have a airplane that weighs four pounds. The airplane is pushing down here four pounds at the center of balance or the center of gravity. And the reason it's there is because you got the engine up here, so you'd think the center of gravity be here, and it's really up front. So here is the center of lift of the wings, and it's pulling up five pounds. And yet the airplane only weighs four pounds. Why is there a difference? In order to have the airplane be stable, the tail is pushing down one pound. Five minus one equals four pounds. Huh, why do you have to do that? The reason is because you'll notice that this is pulling up and this is pushing down. So the airplane is in perfect balance. Now the stable part of it occurs when a gust of wind comes and pushes the nose up. It pushes the nose up. This angle of attack of this wing is no longer pushing down one pound and therefore it will go up. The same thing is true if the gust of wind pushes the nose down. So this will push a little more to comp and bring it back into balance. This is why an airplane the pilot can take his hands off the controls and you think, oh why is he doing that? We're going to crash. Well it's automatically self-adjusting. <clears throat> Here we have an airplane. The center of gravity is up here somewhere because of this very, very heavy engine. And so this is a stable aircraft. Now you might think all airplanes today have to be stable. Today's fighter pilots must fly an unstable airplane. And unstable means if it starts to go one way, and once you make a correction right away, you're going to crash. Well, they have to make the correction so fast, you have to have a computer. But in order to have an unstable airplane, if they have to battle another airplane, <clears throat> they can quickly re respond to what the other guy is doing. So modern airplanes, and then over in our exhibit area, we have an airplane called the GB. <clears throat> and the GB was an unstable airplane, and only one person had ever been able to fly an unstable play airplane is famous General Doolittle. We have it on our display case over there. And that's how airplanes today are stable and much safer. Now to review airplane stability, we have five pounds pulling us with a moment arm twisting in this way at one foot away. And shown here as five inch pounds, twisting this way, counteracted by one pound five inches away, pushing it this way. So this pushes this way, and this equals that, and therefore the airplane is stable. If you perturb the airplane a little bit by pushing the nose up or down, this changes accordingly and self corrects to keep you stable. Hello, we have a three-dimensional version of what it's trying to show here. Here I have a four-pound airplane and its center of balance, which is the same thing as center of gravity, is right here. And the reason it's so far forward is because the engine is very heavy. So this is the center of balance. And right here, it's pushing down with five pounds force and right here is pushing down with four pounds force 
However, this is pulling up with five pounds. Well, you'd think the airplane would go up, but over here it's pushing down with one pound force. And as long as it's flying straight and level, it stays the same, it's perfectly balanced. Pulling up five, pushing down four, pulling up one, five minus one equals four. And again, any perturbation, this pushing the nose up, and now this is no longer pushing down because the angle of attack changes and it goes back up. And if you get the little gust of wind the opposite direction, ooh, now you know the angle of attack is greater and it's going to push down harder until it's in equilibrium and stable. Look for our next Sunday Science Short in two weeks. Thanks for viewing.